This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Although emails are, in effect, electronic mail, we shouldn't really be thinking about printing them. There will be times when you will need to print an email, either so you can pass it around the rest of the family, or so you can make notes on it, or just so you can read it better if it's quite long. Whatever the reason, we need to be able to print an email. So if we want to print an email, the first step will be to open that email. So this one here about a great joke would be quite a good one. Let's open that. And I'm interested in printing this out so that I can use it away from the computer. In order to print, I would go to File and Print. Now the Print dialog box actually combines Print Preview on the right. And I can see here my email. I can see it's one page down the bottom here. So I know when I print it, I'm going to get one page. I would then choose my printer on the left and I have a choice of printers. And these printers will be determined by the ones you've installed. So in this case, I've got an HP DeskJet and I've got OneNote, which comes with Office 2010, an XPS writer and fax. So that's my default printer, hence the green tick. And if I'm happy at that, that's how I want it to look. I can go and click the print button and my email will get sent to the printer. Now, if I want to print an email that has an attachment, we can do that pretty straightforwardly as well. Let's close this by pressing escape. So if we pick on this email here that has, actually, let's pick on this email here that has an attachment and the paperclip gives that away. So I open the email up to file, down to print. I can see my email there, not much of a body. Then I go to print options from which I can say print attached files. And by placing a tick in here, the attachment will get printed as well without any need to open it in whatever its default program is, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. And then when I click print, we're then asked about the attachment and off it goes. There we are, just printed. So that's printed one page for the email and then however many pages for the attachment. And it just so happens that this document is a single happy birthday page, which we can preview there. With a little monkey. So back to message, escape to close. So you open the email, you go to file, you choose print. If you want the attachment, you have to go to print options. Now you can print off the right click. If I were to pick on this email here, for example, and right click, there is a quick print option, and that will take that email and send it directly to your default printer just by choosing quick print. So it doesn't open it, it doesn't preview it, it just takes the file and zam off to your default printer whatever that might be. Other print options we may wish to explore could be a number of pages in a long email. If I were to pick on this particular email and then go to file and print, we can access that same area using the normal keyboard shortcut of control P. It brings us into our print area. We can see the preview and in the print options, as well as the ability to print attached files, notice how it's remembered that as well. So if you do turn that option on for one email, it's worth turning it off or double checking that it's still not on when you do your next print of an email. But in the same place, we can determine which pages we would like to print and we would know which page we want to print because the preview would tell us down here what's on each page. And you can choose number of copies and then print. And that email will then go off to your printer as well. So you either open the email, do file print, file print, where you get a preview and can choose various options before you print. Or from the folder list, you can just right click and quick print and the email will just print.